Right, Dave, where do, where do we start something up that game? Uh, you start with fifth win on, on the trot. You start with five goals away from, uh, from home and a, a decent performance. So, um, as I said, it was a big game for us in terms of points. So, uh, we've got three and now we, uh, we move on to, to spending on Saturday. And you started off both halves so quickly and so positively. Yeah, we always try and do it. We're always on the front foot. We're always looking to score goals, as you see. Um, and obviously, we got a great start. We're getting two quick goals, um, which settled us down, really. Um, so, yeah, obviously delighted to win 5-3. And you got your goals from other players, not John Parkin tonight. Yeah, we just had, sat on the bench at 3-0, saying so three, 3 up and John hasn't scored yet. Um, but it's great for, for Sean, obviously got a couple. Uh, great for Ralph, you know, you want to bring a striker in and get him up and running. So it's done great by closing the keeper down and having a tap in really at the end of it. So yeah, please for, please for the Raul. Uh, Johnny Byrne obviously gets one and Moki up one. So yeah, it's nice to, to sort of share around the, the goals. We've been asking for that and uh, we've got it today. And the first half scoreline gave you the opportunity, I presume, to take John Parker off and just rest him at half time? Yeah, well, we didn't really want to take him off. You just felt, it, I mean, the pitch was heavy. Um, and there's a few there that's got a few strains and, and we took him off as a precaution ma mainly, he's got a bit of a strain, so we took him off, um, but obviously mainly as a precaution, hopefully he'll be okay, um, but he just iced it. Uh, I'd say with Moki, he felt a little bit tight so we took him off and iced it, but um, yeah, it was at that position when you're that many up, um, then it, you can do it, but um, we st still show how much we need him, show how much we missed him. You expect them both to be available for Saturday? I would think so, as I said, we, we took them mainly for precaution, so um, touch wood, they'll, they'll get it sorted, get the physio, get the treatment and, uh, and be ready for Saturday. So Martin, as he walked off the pitch, he spent the whole way shaking his head as he was walking off. I presume he's not <laughs> delighted with some of the defending well, at times. Well, it's one of those games where you don't very often see a team make three subs at half-time, so you can see they weren't happy with what's going. You can see that they've, they've just gone for it, second half. Um, it, it was, I can't say the word, but bust. Uh, they've just gone for it and uh, they made three subs and changed their shape and, and went very attack-minded. Uh, it was difficult to deal with at times. We, we're disappointed that we haven't dealt with it. We should see that game out 5-1, 5-2, 6-1, 6-2, whichever. Um, but that's, that's the disappointment that we, uh, you can see they've gone for it and you know it could have gone either way. It could have ended with 7-1, 8-1 sort of thing. Who would you give man of the match during a game like that you've scored five goals away from home and we're saying you know what Adam Bartlett's pulled off so many great saves yeah, yeah. he maybe gets man of the match um, does he win you that to the, the three points at the end I don't know but I think he's made some since he's been here he's been a great signing I think he made a terrific save off boys um, on Saturday um, he's made a couple of good saves he made another one at uh, sorry uh, at Ferriby um, early doors off, the, off uh, the boy that went through so yeah listen he gets paid to do it obviously Martin's had him at, at uh, Darlington before and it, and it just shows you what a good goalkeeper is um, so uh, yeah very difficult to, to sort of pick somebody out there's a lot of good performances um, but collectively we shouldn't concede three here were you getting nervous in that final 10 minutes were you sort of looking at your watch every now and then thinking I was thinking it'd be nice to sit on the bench at 5-1 and cruise um, and not being worried about what's happening but listen it, it, they still want that it's not a 2-1 away hanging on it's a 5-3 it's a are we hanging on can we do better when we break away in better chances does Hamza let that ball run in and Raul's got two goals just just I think it got easy and I think we got a little bit sloppy um, at, at the end and in the second half and it's very difficult to get you back out of that but fair, fair play to them now they've changed the shape they took three subs as I said and really gone for it attack minded um, and had a real good goal and Simon Heslop coming back in having not played for a while the backstory with Simon Heslop we thought he played really well especially first half uh, that, there's nothing I didn't expect um, Sean Newton's both goals I think are from Hez's corners um, so he's got two assists, um, but I thought he just sat in front of the back four and looked comfortable. And uh, it, as I said to you, and I've told you many times in the last two or three weeks, that Simon Heslop's a good footballer and he's more than good enough. And I was delighted for him. I thought it was excellent today. And that is, as you mentioned right at the start of the interview, five wins mm. on the spin. The upturn in form has been amazing this last few weeks. I, I said to you probably, probably two or three weeks ago that I think now the confidence they've probably got from the, the Ferriby games... Um, have carried on. Uh, I think they're finally getting what, what Martin wants as a team. Um, we're still jigging it in terms of shape. We've got 4-3-3, three, three, we've got a diamond, we've got 4-4-2. Four, four, we're still, I think, looking for our best formation um, as a team and with the personnel that we've got. Um, so, yeah, let's just carry it on to Saturday now. Yep, good luck. Thank okay. you for tonight. Brilliant. No well, problems. Brilliant. Thanks.